I can load and unload the motorcycle by myself now without any struggle. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of Yellowstone. It has one of the highest mineral content of any mineral springs in US. Gym class, check. I always like to ride motorcycles, so I've owned one for quite a while now. But in Ohio, you only get to ride it during the summer, so you only have a few months. When we went RVing, I had excursion for a truck and I was thinking about taking my motorcycle with me, but I just couldn't figure out where to put it. Now we have a truck with the bed, so I decided to take my motorcycle with me this time around so my rides to work would be a lot more enjoyable. I picked up some ramps from Harbor Freight and they work great. They're foldable and they don't take a lot of room. But I wish I would have recorded the first time I was trying to put a motorcycle on I was really struggling with it and I was struggling when I was taking it off. This is how I set it up the first time and maybe it works. I, was my, I had my wife helping me and this is pretty steep slope to put a motorcycle on. Another problem, my motorcycle is kind of low so I was catching right about here. That's where my engine would kind of hit this ramp and I was really really struggling. So I haven't measured it yet but that's what we're going to do. So we have about 38 30 well 38 and a half inches right now so I figured out if you could back up your truck to uh, some kind of slope and Jacksonville I did it to a driveway where the driver was going just a little bit up or find some kind of ditch this will lower this drastically and will make it a lot easier I can load and unload the motorcycle by myself now without any struggles so what I was looking for, it was that little ditch behind me so I could just drop my wheels into that. And now my tailgate is a lot closer to the ground. So you could find a variety of things, but this is right in the back of my RV, so it's working out great for me. So now we are at 25 inches, which is a huge difference. And as you can see, these ramps, they're nowhere nearly as steep as they used to be. So it's real easy to put the bike up on the, tr on the truck. So that's basically all there is to it. So another thing that I did, I put a 2x6 in front of the motorcycle to kind of keep my wheel from pushing on the bed of the truck because I've had that before that it kind of will bend the front of the truck. So that kind of distributes the weight and it kind of stops it there. So I'm just going to strap it right now, show you how I do it, and then we're going to take it off. The first thing that I do, I compress this fork so this eliminates this movement of motorcycle up and down so any of the straps that are put on the motorcycle, they wouldn't come loose. Otherwise, if you hit any bumps, suspension will move up and down and your straps, they can come loose. So I always strap the fork. In my opinion, it's not that necessary to do the back as tight, but the front you want to make sure that it doesn't have play up and down. So what I do, I just go around the fork here and through the top so now when the fork is compressed this thing doesn't move up and down it's pretty solid so all I have to do is just strap it I do from here to one corner, from here to the other corner, and then I just kind of keep the back from moving forward. So this basically will keep the bike in here and I honestly would transport the bike just like it is because the fork is compressed and it's holding to the two points in the front. 
but as a control one I did another strap across the back just to kind of keep it from moving forward which it's not gonna go forward anymore but just to give it another two points so I'm gonna do that also So this is really all I do to secure the motorcycle and we drove from Ohio here and it didn't move even one inch, didn't have any kind of problems. And then these loose straps, I just make sure that I fold them up somehow nicely and feed them through something in here and so that way they're not flapping in the wind. Taking you off the bike off the truck is that simple. Tomorrow I'm starting my first day of work and I think I need to buy a few more scrubs. So if the weather's permitting, tomorrow I'm gonna take a bike and go for a ride and buy some more scrubs. If you like our videos and haven't had a chance to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and also click that bell so you get notified every time our videos come out and they come out every Sunday. find some royal blue uniforms kind of an ugly color but it is what it is so let's go see if we can find something my size <laughs> I went to Hamilton Uniforms in Venice and picked up two sets of uniforms and I only paid $38. I think that's a pretty good deal. It's another beautiful day in mid-December. It's about 85 degrees outside and we are at the Warm Mineral Springs in Northport, Florida. The spring is 85 degrees year-round so it's pretty warm and the water is not really clear. The reason for that is because it has one of the highest mineral content of any mineral springs in US. It has about 51 minerals 
I believe. So it's really interesting. We're gonna go ahead and try it. And I've heard about this spring a lot, but never been here. Supposedly all those minerals are very beneficial for you. So we're gonna go and check it out today. It looks real cool though. I thought that the water is going to be a lot more cloudier. That's what I've heard at least from multiple people. It's actually pretty clear. It has this greenish tint to it, but it's nice. It's warm. This is basically a giant sinkhole. Do you want to know how deep this spring is? It's 230 feet deep down the middle. There is only a smaller opening and it's kind of shaped like an hourglass. It has narrowing down the middle and then at the bottom it's about 230 feet wide also. And it's putting out 20 million gallons a day of a high content mineral water, uh, which is pretty crazy. I guess this is the only warm spring in the state of Florida. For how long do you stay? Normally people come here and they will stay one to two hours and they just soak in it. Some families come here for the whole day. You cannot bring any coolers I read on a website, but you can pack a picnic and you can have a picnic here. You could also buy a 10 visit pass. There is resident and non-resident. Non-resident is a little bit more expensive. And it doesn't have to be specifically to a certain person. You could come 10 times during the course of a year and it could be you or somebody else. So that's also a cool perk. So that's what we purchased and we're gonna try to come here a few more times. Your impressions? It was cold today. <laughs> it was only 83 degrees and not sunny and my spoiled Floridian body did not like it. But overall it was a good experience. It kind of reminds me of Yellowstone. It smells like Yellowstone. The mineral build up around the lake is kind of like Yellowstone. No? Oh, Yellowstone. Yeah, definitely. Not as pungent as Yellowstone, not as strong because there's not a lot of evaporation going on, but definitely cool. We'll be back, I think. And we'll see if I'll be all healed next <laughs> <laughs> in the next few days. I guess so. It's a Monday morning. We got invited to play pickleball never played pickleball so i have no idea how to play that nadia and the boys already went and they're gonna be learning that daria and i were just catching up because it took us a while to wake up since yesterday we stayed up for a while with some friends and got home late because each side gets gets to serve twice okay. each person gets to serve right on the first point, you just do, you only get one point, and then you switch sides. Yes. 
The boys and I just had a lesson in pickleball. So what is pickleball? It's a combination between tennis and ping pong and ping badminton ping. or whatever you say it. So you play with plastic balls with holes in it and these large pedals, they're wooden pedals. They're a little bigger than ping pong pedals, right? Mm -hmm. And today was our first lesson. We've never played it before, but it was a lot of fun. Usually it's played with four people. They have brand new pickleball courts here. So we're welcome to come anytime and use them. Definitely a good start to our Monday morning. Gym class, check. <laughs> 